Hey, peoples. Um, it's really late. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm doing this before I go to bed, before I forget. But I got a whole bunch of books recently. Um, I got them from Amazon because I sold a lot of old textbooks. But I got a whole bunch of old books, and um, I also got, um, my mom brought me back some incense from Virginia Beach, so I have a whole bunch of incense. I'm like, I can burn more incense! Because I've been wanting to get incense, but the herb shop was closed, and so I got Game of Thrones on DVD. <laughs> but I got a whole bunch of good books, because I've been really wanting to expand on my practice and my knowledge. And just, you know, you know, kind of dip my toe in this pool and that pool and see what I like and not, so I'm going to show you guys the books I have. Um, this book I have is called Advanced Witchcraft by Eden McCoy. She also wrote um, the Sabbaths book. I can't remember the name of the book, but it has like a black and orange com cover. I think Moonlit Opal showed it in one of her videos and talked about it, but I have that book as well. And she's a really good author, so I decided to give this book a try. And um, I'm only like on page 8, because <laughs> it's like thick. But um, it just talks about like advanced witchcraft and stuff. And it talks a little bit about everything, like it says advanced witchcraft. Um, terror thresholds, initiation, invoca invocations, dark witchery, like shamanism, and animals and things like that. And so I just wanted to look at that and give that a try. I also got The Witch's Book of the Dead by Christian Day. And I'm really interested in um, starting to do some spiritual work with my ancestors and getting more into uh, spiritual shamanism, like necromancy, because on my mother's side, um, where the Ifugawa people are, um, they did a lot of basically necromancy and shamanistic practices with the dead. And so I really would like to um, read this book and start my own ancestor altar and alt dead, um, altar in honor of the dead and to work with them more. Um, I also got A Sea Magic by Sandra Kynes. Um, you probably heard, have heard me mention the ocean many times. I love the ocean. Um, it is my, like, I only live two hours from the ocean, so I can go there basically on a day trip if I want to, but. I plan on living on the seashore, like, one day. I will. It's gonna happen. And this book will come in handy and then, but I'm definitely gonna try over the summer and make day trips to the beach just where I can do practices and stuff and connect with the ocean. Um, Hecate is my matron goddess. I can I um, came upon her last August. Well, she's always been a presence in my life, but I, I um, finally dedicated myself to her last August. And I don't, I don't really have any books on her, even though I've been working on her for almost a year. I don't really have any books on her. I just did a lot of. I have like my own online, like my own electronic database of Hecate stuff. So I thought, um, I heard this book was really good, and I'm gonna read that too. But I have so many books to read, so I'll get to it eventually. But yep, this is really interesting so far. Like with the glances I've done, um, I'm also interested in working with fairies. I got this book by Dorian Virtue because her take on it is really interesting and there's another book I want, I can't remember who it's by, but I'm really interested in starting my own fairy garden because I do love gardening, like, I'll have to show you guys my garden in the spring, summertime, but um, I have basically, like, my family, we have like a sort of Japanese Greco garden going on because we have, I picked out <laughs> some statues, we have an Artemis statue and a Poseidon statue. I want to get Aphrodite, but I don't know how the neighbors would take that because um, our neighbors are Pentecostal. I don't know how they would take, and we don't have much privacy because our houses are next to each other. But um, I really want to get an Aphrodite statue too, maybe one day. But like, we have a Japanese garden. There's flowers everywhere. We have a crepe myrtle that we um, planted there, and it's growing hugely. And so, I love planting trees. So not only do I plant flowers, I plant trees. So I'm like, yeah. So I really want to do a fairy garden, and I got to cottage witchery by Ellen um, Dugan, Duggan, because um, I read uh, um, Household Magic by Scott Cunningham and that was just really interesting and I really, like, I wish my house would look like that one day, like, just have those roses climbing over it and have flowers everywhere, like, I want my house, like, I want, like, some sort of, like, old cottagey house kind of thing by the ocean or very remotely close to the ocean, I don't care where, preferably in Virginia or North Carolina, South Carolina, or North Carolina, or, or Florida, but that probably won't happen because <laughs> my boyfriend's like, ah, it's too hot there, and I'm like, oh, but it's perfect because I like that musty air. But I will live by the ocean, and like all this will be definitely incorporated into my home. But I'm definitely gonna try. Like I have a lot of summer projects, and I definitely want to try start doing more um, witchy things. Like once I get my garden going and start growing herbs and stuff, and making like wards and stuff for my home, 
but yes, those are all my new books. I'm so excited. This is the first one. I'll probably get to this and these going on later. But yes, so those are new books. I will do. I'll I'll do. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll do books reviews on them when I'm done with them. But I'm really excited to go through all of them, especially um, which is Book of the Dead, um, Codge Witchery, and Sea Magic and Hecate. Cause I'm just like, <sighs> sorry, I was looking at them, so I'm not paying attention where my camera is. But I'm really excited, and I can't wait to get my witch on and start practicing all this stuff, especially a lot of cottage witchery and working with fairies. Like, ever since I, like, I spoke out loud to my friend today, like, I want to work with fairies, like, my cat's been, like, I've noticed they've been going crazy a little lately, because my desire has been, like, I want to work with fairies, I, wanna, I want to work with them, do magic with them, and garden with them, and things like that. And now my cats are like, we see fairies everywhere, la 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 la, let's chase them. So they'll randomly break out into, like, things of chasing stuff and you can't see it but they're like oh okay they're chasing maybe a brownie or something or some sort of um household fairy but i really want to make fairy doors and stuff and put them somewhere in my room like i want to find an area in my room where i can put a fairy door and just be like look yeah. <laughs> but i know like you have to be careful with working with fairies because they can be mischievous but it's like i think that's part of like the excitement about it because like you actually have to be aware you have to be prepared so you have to be very knowledgeable so that requires a lot of reading and stuff but I'm going to start doing like gardening and healing them first before I like actually do magic with them. But yes, very excited. I can't wait to start like getting all this read and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I love you all. Blessed be.